Today we're looking at the Earth's curvature and how you can see it from the airplane window. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at some video footage I shot from the airplane and we're gonna be playing around with the advanced Earth curvature calculator. This advanced curvature calculator is at two models. It has the globe and the flat Earth model and then you can combine both. So we're gonna take, uh, this is a view of our airplane window here and we're gonna take it and we're gonna start climbing. We're gonna climb the altitude. There's 22,000 feet, now mid 30s, typical airliner cruising altitude. Here's a view out the window and let's look for the curve. So we can see a curve here and we can see the curve here. But it's fairly subtle and if you take a picture with your camera with a smaller angle of view, uh, let's say you zoom in a bit, you take a picture with your camera, uh-oh, what happened to the curve? It kind of disappeared, didn't it? So uh, the curve is actually quite hard to see from the airplane window, unless you are looking at the wide angle. Oh, hang on, I lied. Looking at the wide angle, here we go. You want the wide angle, so you can see the curve here and here. But the problem with wide angle lenses is people will say, oh, that's a wide angle distortion. So there's no winning. <laughs> or is there? Actually there is. Let's have a look at this line here. This is eye level and that's a horizon. And they call that the horizon dip angle right here, horizon dip angle. And currently it is 3.33 degrees down. Uh, if the earth was a flat plane, which we're gonna switch to right now, I'm gonna go to flat earth. Whoa, okay, we can see there's no horizon dip angle. The horizon rises with your eye level. So as I mess around with the altitude here, we're gonna go down and we're gonna go up. And as we change our altitude, the horizon rises to eye level because it is a flat endless plane in theory. Now in practice, maybe you won't quite see that far. Maybe you'll, um, you know, haze and stuff will get in the way of your vision. But so you might not quite see that far, but the idea is that it's gonna look a lot different here. We'll switch to both globe and flat earth. Uh, flat earth on the left, globe on the right. And let's mess with altitude. So as we start to climb here, so this is from 200 feet. As we start to climb, you can see the difference. Does the horizon rise to eye level? If it does, then you're looking at a flat earth model. If it doesn't, you're looking at the globe model. So, great way to look for Earth's curvature then. Actually, it's the way to look for Earth's curvature. Don't look for a curve side to side. As you can see, it's fairly subtle, but the horizon dip angle, it's quite measurable. In fact, the typical airline at cruising altitudes, it's around three to three and a half degrees. Here's a picture from 38,000 feet, 11.6 kilometers, using an app for Android called uh, Dioptra. If you want to find it for your application, just search uh, Theodolite apps. Anyways, here is our eye level. You can tell it's level because this angle here is, well, negative or plus 0.1. I'm trying to get as close to zero as I can. Anyways, here we are. Uh, not much curvature going on. I don't really see any curvature, really, do you? Uh, but I've got a nice amount of dip. Check out that dip right there. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Let's see how big that dip is. Here I measured the dip. I put uh, the eye level on the horizon and I got a dip of negative 3.2 from 38,000 feet. If you go to the advanced curvature calculator, you should see that's right in the ballpark. Uh, so let's play, uh, let's play the video here. Here's a shot of us taxing, nice and level. And here's a piece de resistance, high altitude. Check out that horizon dip right there. That's what we're looking for. I'm gonna play this video for a few seconds so you can see that the airplane is in a wings level attitude and uh, not turning, because you know if it's in a bank attitude, that will mess up the, the horizon. So here we are in a level flight. So next time you're flying, use your Fiodolite app and look for that horizon dip. If you got a good horizon, it's, it's very easy to measure as long as you know what to look for. All you gotta do is you gotta find eye level um, or you can use the wingtip. The wingtip's a good one. Take a picture or a video before you take off 
reference the ground or at low level, reference the ground. And then as the airplane climbs altitude, once again, have a look at how that sight picture changes out the window.